What's up, what's up? It's Thursday. Thursday means comp day and concept. My favorite class. It's kind of that love, hate, push. We're in the closing weeks of my prep. I start to believe that <clears throat> I started this um, preparation almost one year ago. I remember clearly setting my goal the day after last year's masters that this would be my year to finally go and compete yeah so right after the masters i joined concept i told maya my goal is to compete at masters and he said are you thinking about it or are you gonna do it i said i'm gonna do it i'm going to do it so I committed myself for a little less than a year now. It's getting pretty much close to a year. In fact, I got, I got an email from Flying Hawaiian, Hawaiian Airlines. It says, you're 19 days out from your flight. So it's right there, man. It's freaking right there. I'm gonna push, you know, get those last trains in, weights on point, feeling comfortable with my technique. Um, I think, you know, my just my talk yesterday about who's going to coach me, I think at this point, uh, I've settled on Alika. So I'm last night at UFC after the class, we are talking, so I'm going to strategize with him a little bit. You know, ideally, Maya would be there and he could coach me because he's been the one training me for the last year, but I get it, you know, you're a business. You cannot just close your school down for one guy, right? If he was competing, I'm sure he would find, um, find a substitute or do something with that, but... I get it, bro. It's a, it's a business now. It's your livelihood. You cannot just up and leave and shut down. Yeah, you cannot leave your students hanging. So I appreciate and understand, um, you know, what the deal is. So gotta go work with Alik a little bit. Try getting a few rows at him. Um, kind of hard to roll with him. I know he just he told me he wanted to compete too, but I think he tweaked his knee, so he 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 finally decided he's not gonna compete this year. Yeah. He wanted to try, but when the body says no, you gotta listen, yeah. There's, there'll be other tournaments, right? You don't wanna compete when you're less than your best, so. Shout out to my bro, Alika, for, you know, helping me out. So he did say he's gonna go up there to pretty much coach. I think there's a bunch of other people that probably there. Their school's kinda close too, right? So that, you know, their head coaches or their main coaches might not make it out, so. He's going to help those guys that don't have a coach, so cool guy, cool guy. Lucky, lucky we crossed paths with Alika. Another person we met through uh, underground, uh, Tang, Tang and Twan's school, where we met all these uh, these guys, right? So, in fact, Alika, we met Alika when he was a brown belt, and we went to his, um, we went more not that we weren't there to support him, but we went there, I think, just, he got his black belt the same time our buddy Steve got his black belt over at Brian's place, yeah? Masa, uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, Brian school out in Kamaki. So that was, that was kind of a double thing. So that was pretty cool got to see that. We missed, we kind of missed most of it, but we were able to, you know, do the celebratory roles from there, yeah. So, the last, you know, this week, Cart really hasn't trained with me. Where he come to the trainings, I mean, he was there last night at UFC because last night was mostly more coaching. Yeah, I need the help with the coaching, but it's the third time that he's skipped out on concepts. So I don't know if he's just burned out, uh, you know, thinking about what he wants to do or whatever, right? But I'm so far down that journey, like I can't worry about him, right? I gotta focus on what's what's best for me at this point, you know. Like I said, less than three weeks out, first real competition that I travel for. I gotta make sure I'm on point, right? I cannot be distracted by, you know, anything at this point. So, gonna train smart, right? Stay out of stay out of those those scraps with those guys that go super duper hard. Um, it's getting close, yeah, getting close to that time. So. Forgot to say yesterday marked kind of a semi milestone for us. We hit 
a hundred episodes on this car in the car episodes right so probably you know again gonna keep doing this like I said some of it's for me you can watch it when I'm older some of it's for my kids and grandkids they can see what their dad and their papa and their great papa was doing yeah so hopefully I can set some ideas some good values you know even if they don't go into jujitsu there's this you know I want to I want to make sure that they're good they're good people yeah I think that's always been my goal for cart is just to be a good a good citizen right understand how to be a good person to get along you know make friends be a be a good co-worker those are, those are some important skills that in a lot of times people just don't learn that I mean again like I said I work with some guys that are just oh gosh they're like the nicest people but they're terrible at their job so I guess they figured out <laughs> I guess they figured out how to get get a job but yet not have the skill to do the job I don't know I don't know it's just side rat yeah I don't want to I don't want to dwell on that too much right yeah get to see uh, I like Thursdays too like I said in the past get students from other schools right so we have different body types different skill sets um, a bunch of them are also competing too so it's always a fun it's a fun class so we'll see you tomorrow oh tomorrow see I don't know if cars are gonna still go but I'm gonna go uh, we're gonna go over to Professor Joey's school for the open mat tomorrow at 6 go check it out you know roll with some of the dudes over there have some fun check it out you know pay our respects to the school over there anyway hopefully I can get some video of that open mat tomorrow and then I'll play it up on our channel all right guys take care train hard get in that extra roll us